Welcome to our deep dive into the chilling tale of Brenda Andrew and James Pavitt. Before we delve into the unsettling twists and turns this story takes, let's take a moment to paint the backdrop against which this grisly plot unfolds. Our story begins in the heart of Oklahoma, in the seemingly ordinary life of Brenda and Robert Dale Andrew. Known to friends and family as Brenda and Rob, they were a couple whose love story had turned into a tale of discontent and despair. Their marriage, once filled with the promise of a lifetime of happiness, had gradually become a battleground. Allegations of infidelity, dissatisfaction, and a yearning for a life that seemed perpetually out of reach had strained their relationship to its breaking point. Brenda, once known for her vivacity and charm, had grown increasingly restless. Rob, a man known for his stoicism, was grappling with the disintegration of his marriage, a reality he was not ready to confront. This was the precarious state of their relationship on the eve of the fateful night that would forever change their lives. As we delve into the details of this chilling case, keep in mind the volatile dynamics of this once loving couple. And remember, every tale has more than one side, and in this story, the truth is more shocking than you could ever imagine. Now let's pick up the story on that fateful night when a desperate 911 call cast a harsh spotlight on the darkness lurking beneath the surface of Brenda and Rob's tumultuous marriage. Imagine the shock of emergency responders when they arrived at the scene of a seemingly ordinary domestic incident only to stumble upon a much darker plot. In the heart of Oklahoma, a 911 call echoed through the stillness of the night. On the other end of the line, a woman's voice, trembling, desperate. It was Brenda Andrew reporting a horrifying incident. She and her estranged husband, Robert Dale Andrew, had been shot. Brenda and Rob, as they were known to friends and family, were not your average couple. Their relationship, once filled with love and promise, had gradually been strained to its breaking point. A once thriving marriage had given way to a tumultuous relationship, characterized by allegations of infidelity and dissatisfaction. Brenda, a woman known for her charm and vivacity, had reportedly grown discontented with her marriage. She felt trapped, yearning for a life that seemed just out of reach. On the other hand, Rob, a man known for his stoicism, was grappling with the disintegration of his marriage, a reality he was not ready to confront. And then came that fateful night. A night when the tensions simmering beneath the surface erupted into a violent confrontation. Brenda, wounded and terrified, made that chilling 911 call. Her voice, filled with panic, echoed the severity of the situation. She and Rob had been shot. It was a scene straight out of a nightmare. A chilling reminder of the darkness that can lurk beneath the surface of ordinary lives. As emergency responders arrived at the scene, they were met with a sight that would haunt them for years to come. Rob, Lifeless and cold lay in a pool of his own blood. Brenda, wounded but alive, was a picture of despair and shock. It seemed like a clear-cut case of domestic violence gone horribly wrong. But as investigators would soon discover, this was far from a simple case of domestic violence. There were layers beneath the surface, shadows lurking in the corners, a sinister plot that was yet to unravel. A plot that would take them down a path of deceit, betrayal and cold-blooded murder. Beneath the surface of Brenda and Robert's marriage were layers of deceit and betrayal that would eventually lead to a devastating end. As we delve deeper into the history of this troubled couple, we uncover a series of affairs that shook the foundation of their relationship. Brenda, a woman of striking features and captivating charm, was not content within the confines of her marriage to Robert. She sought excitement and attention outside of their union, leading her down a path of infidelity. One man in particular, James Pavat, became a significant figure in Brenda's life. He was not just a friend, but an accomplice in her marital deceit. A man of charisma and confidence, James had a certain allure that Brenda found irresistible. Their relationship grew from casual encounters to passionate rendezvous, fueling the flame of Brenda's dissatisfaction with her marriage. The marriage of Brenda and Robert was not one of shared dreams and mutual respect, but rather a facade that concealed the reality of their disintegrating relationship. Brenda's behavior played a pivotal role in this breakdown. Her quest for thrill and attention, her disregard for the sanctity of their marriage, and her emotional detachment from Robert were all contributing factors. As the cracks in their marriage widened, an undercurrent of tension and resentment seeped into their everyday life. The couple, once united in love, was now divided by betrayal. 
Their home, once a haven of happiness, became a battleground of unspoken accusations and simmering anger. Yet amidst the turmoil and heartache, life had to go on. They tried to maintain a semblance of normalcy for the sake of their children, their friends and their community. But the strain was evident, the smiles forced, the laughter hollow. Their marriage was not just unravelling, it was disintegrating, piece by piece, day by day. But no one could have predicted the deadly turn their story would take. Behind the facade of a troubled marriage, a sinister plan was brewing, one that would stun the community and lead to a shocking crime. As the cracks in Brenda and Robert's relationship grew wider, a deadly plot began to unfold. Brenda, discontented and restless, found solace in the company of James Pavart a man who seemed to offer an escape from her troubled marriage. The pair allegedly conspired to kill Robert, a plot that would not only end a life but also shatter a community. The plan was meticulously designed, hinting at a chilling level of premeditation. Robert Dale Andrew, a man caught in the tumultuous storm of his estranged wife's dissatisfaction and alleged infidelity, had no idea that he was walking into a fatal trap. The circumstances surrounding the incident were suspicious, to say the least. Robert was shot while supposedly helping Brenda, who was also shot during the incident. The chilling 911 call made by Brenda herself added another layer of mystery to the unfolding drama. The plot thickened when it was discovered that Brenda had recently taken out a hefty life insurance policy on Robert, with James Pavat, an insurance agent, assisting her in the process. This suspicious activity raised eyebrows and the pieces of the puzzle began to fall into place. The authorities grew more suspicious of Brenda and James's involvement in the crime, leading to a thorough investigation that would soon unravel their dark secrets. In a world where appearances can be deceiving, the facade of Brenda and James's innocence began to crumble. The community, initially shocked by the tragedy, started to question the true nature of Robert's death. As the alleged plot to murder Robert became apparent, the reality of the situation sent shockwaves through their friends, family and the entire community. In a twist of fate, the couple's dark secrets would soon be exposed. As the trial unfolded, the true extent of Brenda and James's betrayal became chillingly clear. The courtroom was a hive of tension as the prosecution presented a damning sequence of events, woven together by a trail of evidence that pointed indisputably to the accused, Brenda Andrew and James Pavat. The prosecution painted a vivid picture of a dangerous affair, a planned murder and an attempted escape. Key testimonies came from those who knew Brenda and James. Friends, relatives and acquaintances took the stand, each contributing a piece to the chilling puzzle. The evidence was overwhelming. Phone records, financial transactions and the damning life insurance policy all pointed to a premeditated act of cold-blooded murder. The jury heard of Brenda's dissatisfaction with her marriage, her affair with James and the couple's elaborate scheme to cash in on Rob's life insurance policy. And then, there were the gunshot wounds. Brenda's injury, superficial and non-life-threatening, contrasted starkly with the fatal wounds suffered by Rob. The forensic evidence suggested a staged scene designed to mislead investigators. The defense attempted to counter the prosecution's narrative, suggesting other potential scenarios and casting doubt on the integrity of the evidence. Yet their efforts fell short in the face of the compelling case constructed by the prosecution. After weeks of testimonies, the jury retired to deliberate and returned with a unanimous verdict. Brenda Andrew and James Pavat were found guilty of first-degree murder. The courtroom held its breath as the judge delivered the sentence. Death by lethal injection. In the end, justice was served, but the memory of this tragic case continues to haunt those who remember it. The echoes of this chilling tale remind us of the dark depths to which human nature can descend when consumed by greed and deceit.